Game of the weekend, though, it happened right here in El Paso. Playoff soccer back at Southwest University Park as El Paso Locomotive FC hosted FC Tulsa on Saturday night in a game that will go down as an instant PK classic. Let's show you how it all went down. The full highlights, if you will, from last night. We open in the 18th minute. Leandro Carrillo, the addition from FC Juarez with his first goal as a member of this El Paso squad. Later in the first half, FC Tulsa going to get a cheap one here. Rodrigo da Costa off the rebound is going to find the back of the net. And then in the second half, really another cheap one for FC Tulsa. Callum Chapman Page with the go-ahead goal as Logan Ketterer just couldn't quite get there. So it was 2-1 until the 82nd minute. Guess who? Carrijo with his second goal of the match. A big one, too. It would go to extra time and win 120 minutes. Wasn't enough. We go to PK's Ketter with two huge stops, but none bigger than that one right there, and that led to this. It's Saeed Robinson for the game winner, and he drills it. Locomotive rolling on in the Western Conference playoffs, 4-2 to two in PK's. If you approach the penalty shootout right, you know, with the right frame of mind, and you're just present in the moment, you know, and you're not worried about the pressure, what's going around, you're just present in the moment, you take your kick, and the, 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 the four guys that stepped up to take those kicks tonight were, were fantastic. That's your one chance to get straight up, me versus you, who's better, so I'll take that any day, I like that, um, I like the pressure, I'm, I'm fine with that, and, you know, it, it definitely helps when we've got four guys who bang four in a row. Los Locos back in the Western Conference semifinals. The host rival New Mexico United next Saturday night at Southwest University Park. We'll be right back.